Good morning, everyone. It's Anika Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, we're looking at the crown chakra, which is at the middle point of the uppermost part of our head. And this is a space that is connecting ourselves with divine energy. And so it's our highest um, space in the chakra system. So we started with the root in the base of the spine and we're ending at the top of our head. And this is my favorite channel. And I know we shouldn't have any favorites. They're all fantastic. But I do have to say that this is my favorite chakra. It's, um, it's the one that I feel helps me stay most connected with energies outside of myself. And again, all of these energies are always coming in through all of these chakra centers. One of the things that I want to make sure that people know is that uh, you do need balancing of other chakra systems as we move up this ladder. So I know that there's a lot of people that really want that connection and they will work on, okay, let me get that connection. From what I've seen, it's not so easy for people to do that. So not that it's not possible, but other aspects are also needed to get those really unique experiences that people often search for, I'm going to say, in uh, meditation, let's say, sometimes in yoga itself. Yet, if you're really understanding why we're doing what we're doing with meditation, there's no goal. There's no goal. There's just the receiving. It's the receiving the peace that comes from stilling the mind. And again, that process happens throughout all of these chakra systems. So I thought I'd remind you today that we started with the root and with the root, we are building that strong foundation. With the sacral chakra, we talked about nurturing. And then we talk about the solar plexus, which is about actions and digestion and centering. With the heart, we're thinking about love and compassion. With the throat, we're thinking about speaking through truth, uh, authenticity. With the third eye, we talk about a wisdom and then we're coming to the crown. And the crown, again, this is about that connection with a higher divine energy. And I thought it would be interesting today for me to share with you what would happen if there is not enough energy in that space for you to work from. So there's two different aspects. We can think of someone doesn't have enough energy up there. So a lot of times when people are stressed or overworked or foggy minded, there is not enough energy coming from that space or open in that space. There's just a, a weakness in that area. And that leads to lack of inspiration, greed, and a materialistic perspective. So you can imagine how many people can easily fall into this. So there's this whole idea of there isn't enough, right? So there's a materialistic, if once I get this, then I'll feel okay. Or once I have this much money, I'll be okay. And there's enough money, but there's just a little bit more. And that's also leads to a lack of inspiration. So it could get to a place of, oh, you know what? I just don't know what to do to get more of what I need. And the belief is that it is needed. So this is interesting that that would be a, a sign. If you know that yourself, you're feeling any of those things, that's related to not enough energy in this space. And oftentimes that's linked to not enough energy coming from the rest of the chakra system. So you see how it's so important to build up the rest of the chakra system before working on the crown. And again, in any meditation, you can work on all of these, but recognizing a true and authentic space from which you're building your system, that will help you get that ideal energy up at this space. Now, people can have too much energy in this space too, and too much is not good either. So too much energy. So too much of a focus. So this not so much focus, but it's overactive. Like I so want this. I so want that connection, right? And if you're in that space, there's a lack of empathy. There's an apathy. There's a sense of elitism and a superiority. Now, what does that mean in our day-to-day -day understanding? You know, that would relate to egocentric um, experiences. So a better than or a lesser than, but this space is a better than space. So this better than space, which leads to this overactive area, it's again with this real striving to get to somewhere. But 
you know, people can go through spiritual superiority, right? So people can say that I've done so much more meditation. I can do eight hours at a time and I'm so good. I've had so many people who ask me, how long do you meditate for? And you know, the length of time really doesn't matter, but it's being in that space when you are meditating, truly, authentically being in a space of centeredness and clarity and ease. And oftentimes people are striving. So you can strive for things on the human level and you can also strive for things on the spiritual level. And this detachment, a proper and full detachment from the ego, whether throughout your days, which I would love for all of us to be able to do, or especially in that meditation time, right? So, or when you're speaking about what you're doing, it's, I can do this so well because I've done this, 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 and I've done this many courses and I've done this much time. And it's not that it's, there will be no need or desire to prove yourself once you're balanced that way. And when there's no more need to prove, not because you're feeling better than someone or not because you're feeling less than someone, there's no more need for that. And it's a beautiful experience. And I really hope that today you might have this experience for yourself. I thought that I would look for a quote, but I haven't found one today. And isn't that interesting? There was no striving to make sure that I have one because I always have a quote in my videos. Today, there is no striving for a quote. I am so excited to let you know that I'm speaking to you from a centered space in this moment. And I'm wishing you a fabulous day ahead. And I hope you remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Take care, everyone.